Hello guys and welcome back! In today's video is finally time to create some festive or Christmas looking nails so for that I choose to try the new Neo Nail Glitter at the base of Neo Nail. Keep watching! <music> And let's try the new nail glitter effect base. I choose the color red shine and in total there are like four different colors. There is another red, black and also a silver. When you open the base it's absolutely beautiful and stunning. The color is like, it's tend to the brownish red. It's like a very intense, dark, bloody red and is absolutely full, full immersive glitters. The consistency also is like pretty liquidy I would say and I wasn't expecting that. My nails are already prepped but I still need to file to mattify before apply the product and then clean with cleaner. And going in straight to the nail, I'm not use any primer and at first I will go very slow but for different reasons so you can see how the product behave and how is the consistency second this is red and it's a very dark color so we have to be really careful when you're using dark and red colors to not touch the cuticles because even if you want to clean that out you can stain your skins and third I'm using my non-dominant hand for that so yeah I have to be really really careful And after I create my first layer, I will dry it in the lamp. For the second layer, I decided to go straight with a little bit more product and just to create a layer up like pretty thick on my thumbnail because my thumb are uh, my knees are looking really flat naturally. So I wanted to give them like this uh, a little bit of natural looking curve so I very very quickly let's say I apply this uh, level up and uh, yeah I want us to see how the product behave. And the product as you can see is following my brush beautifully is not leaking absolutely anywhere and I would say that the consistency of this product is pretty liquidy but is staying all together that is actually really beauty beautiful and is really really soft in application I just basically keep on moving back and forth the product till I'm sure of the shape that I think the shape that I want and it's actually really cool because you can see how the product behave here Then I dry it in the lamp and now I apply top coat. I dried in the lamp and that's how the product looked like but I wasn't feeling sure that it dried completely inside so I'll go back to that later. Going in with my next nails and, and I decided that I will apply the base in a thinner way. This time I will try to be uh, more thin from the first application of the base, how much is possible and then I will go up in also a thinner way, it means applying less product that I need, did in the first nail. Because on the first nails, I'm aware that I applied like a little bit too much product, not, not, not knowing if I can do it with this product or not. So I just went straight and I did that. But as I have like insecurity that my product is dry, so I went back on the website and I checked uh, what they say about how to use the product. And they're saying to like, like apply a thin layer, dry it in the lamp, second layer, apply it in the lamp, uh, dry it in the lamp same things with the fur layer eventually and dry it in the lamp and that the product is meant also for an overlay or uh, extend to five millimeters 
but uh, for my understanding is basically you should apply thinner layer of product. I dry my first layer in the lamp and I'm going with the second one and as you see this time I'm trying to be way thinner and first just applying all over the surface in my first layer and then I will very delicately and gently apply a little bit of overlay in the center of my nail and trying to be really careful to not apply too much. And here I'm not applying any more extra product, I'm just moving around what I already have. And here how she look like after I dry it. And now I wanted to check if this one is dry. I need to make sure that my product is dry on my nail because you cannot have under cure product on your nails. She seems totally dry, so I just went straight and I applied my top coat. Before drying my top coat, I turn my finger upside down with my wet top coat and dry it in the lamp then. And I again double checking if everything is dry. I feel and I believe it's dry, but the first one, let's go back to this one. She's not dry as you can tell now here. She's squishy. But I will talk about that more later. Third nail, I will do the same things that I did with the second one because at this point I was feeling more uh, sure of what, I'm will, what I will do basically and uh, again after I dry my first layer I'm going in with the second layer I apply all over the surface and very very thinly just to over, just overlay in the middle where I need like to give a little bit of applique I like to use a very thin brush to help me move around uh, the extra product. Applying top coat. On my next nail I decided to go a little bit differently. It means that I decided to apply first layer, dry it in the lamp, a second thin layer, dry it in the lamp and then a third layer. And in the third layer basically just give the definite shape that I want it to be. And again I like to help myself with a thin brush and applying in places where I cannot reach in particular because this nail has a had a little bit of reconstruction, reconstruction that you cannot really tell but she's not that straight actually so she's very uneven that's uh, because I uh, I broke her basically and I just uh, improvised uh, like a reconstruction of it so she's very uneven and well taking also in consideration that still not using my dominant hand so it's pretty pretty difficult And here I apply my last layer, which is the third one. And just at this moment, I give in a little bit of extra product just in the middle area to give a little bit of more a poof of a curve, let's say, on the top of my nail. I dry it in the lamp and now applying top coat. And for my last nail, I will go following what I already did basically. This time I will apply a first layer dry it in the lamp and then I will go with the second thin layer, but I will already give my little curve in this layer basically but being very careful to not apply too much product and now going back to the first nail what I think happened well I like I already say I applied too much product without knowing if I can do it and taking consideration this product a glitter so it can be that 
I don't think there is anything wrong with the product itself and second my lamp probably is not as strong anymore because she need to be changed and uh, uh, probably for that kind of product you need to have like a good lamp like a lamp that at least is new to be able to dry everything or basically my suggestion just don't apply too much thick layer like I did in the first one but like I did in the next nails and that's how she look like after I finish to apply all the fingers with the base but uh, as uh, it's like festive times uh, you know nearby we need to create something different so I uh, mattify a little bit the surface clean it with cleaner and now with a paint gel of new nail I will create a little bit of decoration and uh, taking consideration this is my non-dominant hand the one I use it for uh, creating I just make it very very simple but actually it's very cute I think I can apply with almost no problem with my non-dominant hand like a base as you see but when it comes to uh, you know make a decoration it's like pretty pretty difficult Applying top coat and dry it. So I file in a little bit just in the center on the top of the star because I will use a product that I never use, which is this gel glue of the brand Lulu. And uh, I wasn't sure if I can apply it on uh, on the top on a shiny top coat and I wanted to apply a little stony here so I want her to stay basically so that's why I uh, decided to basically have like a matte surface underneath I dry it in the lamp for 60 seconds and now I will apply top coat and I will apply it basically all around my stone because as again I wasn't sure of this uh, glue I don't know her it's the first time I'm using it I know that this way if I just basically apply it on a little bit matte surface and then apply the top uh, around my stone most likely will stay I clean a little bit to remove the wax of my tool that is probably on my stone to make it shiny Applying my cuticle oil Cleaning the excess of the oil and that's how she look like it was absolutely beautiful to work with this base I really really love her she's a dream come true if you are led a red nail lover and it's perfect for that season which is holiday season New Year's Eve and also taking consideration you will have Valentine's soon so this is absolutely a great great product she look great with every lightning in daytime doesn't look flat and also I got a surprise which is uh, she actually having like the, fla the famous flash effect which I wasn't expecting that because it doesn't say it on the website that she have like a flash effect reaction and uh, I noticed that by myself because she was so brilliant in every kind of lighting that I decided to try it and here we go guys you also have the freaking flash effect it means that really this is just everything this base I absolutely love her if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up which is a like subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet and you like my content write me something in the comment down below if it's been a pleasure and thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye!